And um, for people who just hear the word pro-life and pro-choice, for them it would have been something new. Because mostly in, in now modern terms many use. But how do you see that and how do the feminists respond to this kind of view like no? pro-life and pro-choice and some are very reactive. So how do you see that? Yes. Yes, thanks for that question, Father. I sometimes I find it a little bit funny, you know. I just said, can anybody be not pro-life? Can anybody be against life? Is that possible? That would destroy his own life. So I think we are all pro-life. And then, again, that's a Christian view. God gives us the option of choice. We have the choice. So we as Christians, we are all pro-choice. <laughs> so I can't see a difference between that. I feel pro-choice and of course I'm pro-life. So this is kind of a funny terminology and I, um, I cannot really follow it. But then on practical terms, on practical terms it's of course so that people um, that cherish life, that respect life from the conception to the very end, um, they call themselves pro-life. And others call themselves pro-choice, and what's in there is uh, the, pri the primal uh, idea of self-determination. So these people that um, have this idea of pro-choice uh, follow an idea of absolute self-determination. And so that then gets to these solutions of, they come to a solution that, like for instance, you know, that, that was just the second part of your question, that a feminist says that as a woman, I want to have the full self-determination over myself, which is good, which is good, because we have seen in this world a lot of, um, um, a, a, a lot of neglect of self-determination of women. And uh, it, it's good to see that women have the same right, the same option, the same, same choices in the whole world. So self-determination is something very, very good. But self-determination has always its end at the self-determination of the other one. Otherwise it doesn't function. So self-determination obviously and by itself is not unlimited. And if we now look at the subject, at the problem that we are discussing right now, there is a very special situation of a pregnant woman. Because in that very special situation, there are two human beings. And they have both their self-determination. And now, um, as in, in normal life, you have to respect the self-determination, the life of that one human being that is small and the other human being that is uh, a woman that is large as an adult. And so this pro-choice idea um, does not understand that this um, child before birth has a self-determination. Uh, by itself, and they um, want and they ask and they protest for, for the absolute unlimited self-determination of a wife in pregnancy. And that, of course, doesn't make sense. So that's the idea of pro-choice. And uh, pro-choice, um, to see it this way, uh, violates um, the respect for the dignity of a child before birth. If I can say to this, uh, if some is believer, someone who believes to God, uh, pro-life is pro-God. If I respect life, I respect God and I'm glorifying God. If someone is believer about pro-choice, I cannot cherish bad choice. Uh, yes, if choice is good, I'm happy, we must be happy. 
but is not wise to be happy about the bad choice. And who is against life is this um, choice is not good. It's okay.